today we will see the golden rules and heuristics there is a one scientist snider man he stated eight golden rules of interface design those eight golden rules were mainly related with how the interface should be how the design of the interface should be everything is stated by this scientist by their eight golden rules the first rule states that strive for consistency in action sequence layout terminology command use and so on that means what you should be consistent in whatever action you are doing or whatever activity you are doing you should be consistent in each and every activity for example if you are using some layout then you should be consistently use the same layout because the user will get familiar with the same type of layout if you try to give different different layout for the same design then there might be the confusion between the user that where should be that button or how should i access the thing so the consistency should be maintained in all the type of action sequences whatever layout you are using whatever terminologies you are using in your system or in your design the terminologies should be same for example if you are using the button and for that button if you are for one button you are using the caption like total then throughout your design you should use the same caption total everywhere it should not like uh, total ek jagah pe aap use karoge dusre jagah pe aap equal use karoge it should not happen the terminology should be again what consistent whatever command you are using again everything should be what consistent then only the uniformity between the design will be maintained the second rule states that enable frequent user to use shortcuts for example abbreviations special key sequences and macros to perform regular familiar actions more quickly if you are the frequent user or if the user or the customer will be the frequent customer then you should give them to use they, they should be easily used what shortcut keys uh, everybody knows the shortcut keys of copy paste or exit help these are the common shortcut keys that are available so designer should allow user should use what your shortcut keys so these shortcut keys will be generally used by frequent users jo kabhi to bhi system ko use karega wo uh, shortcut keys yaad nahi rakh payega if you remember jab aapne first time pc use karna ya aapne system use karna jab start kiya tha tab aapko shortcut keys yaad nahi hongi aap jaise jaise use karna jate ho use karte ho you should start remembering what all the shortcut keys so enable frequent users to use various shortcuts then offer informative feedback for every user action at at a level appropriate to the magnitude of the action what should be there there should be some informative feedback informative feedback means what the feedback the main use of feedback is for improvement purpose whatever kind of feedback you are focusing every feedback is used for improvement purpose and whatever feedback we are getting every system should get improve on the basis of those feedback so feedback is very important then next one is design dialogues to yield closer so the user knows when they have completed the task yes you should give what proper dialogues there should be proper dialog box the main purpose of dialog box is the example of dialog box is for example if you are filling the form and when you are going to submit the form when you click on the submit button he again ask you do you want to submit yes or no so that dialog or that dialog box will help you that it is showing you have successfully completed the task whether you want to proceed either yes or no so there should be what proper dialogs then next is offer a error prevention and simple error handling so that ideally users are prevented from making mistakes and if they do they are offered clear and information instructions to enable them to recover means what there should be proper mechanism for error prevention and error handling if you face any kind of error while using the system 
how you should overcome that sustain how you should avoid that error and how you are going to handle that error those things should be what clearly mentioned and if in future if you find some error or if you gone through some error then there should be the clear and informative instruction to enable them to how to recover those error so there should be proper instructions if you face any error how you should handle those error there should be some mechanism for error prevention and error handling next golden rule will be permit easy reversal of action in order to relieve anxiety and encourage exploration since the user knows that he can always return to the previous state yes uh, iska best example hai control z undo agar galti se kuch mistake ho jati hai agar aap galti se kuch bhi kar dete ho aur aapko wo nahi karna hota hai aap immediately kya karte ho undo karte ho ya control z karte ho so that undo or control z is nothing but your reversal of action so there should be the proper mechanism for every reversal of action agar galti se bhi kuch ho jata hai jo aapko nahi karna tha तो उसके लिए आप क्या कर सकते हो रिवर्स एक्शन कर सकते हो अंडू कर सकते हो कंट्रोल जेड कर सकते हो सो दिस इज अगेन वन ऑफ दी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट यू नीड टू कंसीडर वाइल डिजाइनिंग एनी काइंड ऑफ इंटरफेस देन नेक्स्ट इज सपोर्ट इंटरनल फोकस ऑफ कंट्रोल सो दैट द यूजर इज इन कंट्रोल ऑफ द सिस्टम विच रिस्पॉन्ड टू हिज एक्शन देर शुड बी वॉट देर शुड बी प्रॉपर इंटरनल कंट्रोल वाई because whenever the user is going to deal with the system if user is giving some input he should get proper output and the user should be informed that he is receiving the output that means there should be proper response from the server end or there there should be the proper response from the other end which will enable user that whatever action i have raised that action has been successfully completed then reduce short term memory load by keeping displays simple consolidating multiple pages displays and providing time for learning action sequences you should remove or you should what reduce short term memory load by keeping what how you are going to reduce the short term memory load short term memory load means what kaun si aise choti choti baatein hai jo ji aap aapko yaad karne ki zarurat nahi hai by keeping display simple whatever display you are using that display should be what it should be simply agar display aapka user design agar aapka simple hai to aapko kuch bhi yaad rakhne ki zarurat nahi hai aap immediately kya karte ho dekh ke bhi use use kar sakte ho dekh ke bhi use access kar sakte ho aapko har ek cheez yaad rakhne ki zarurat nahi kahan pe kya hai kahan pe kaise use hoga kya hoga you do not have to remember everything by making the display very simple and it should be the main reason that your short term memory load will get reduced so these are you can see these are the eight golden rules of interface design designed by or defined by the snederman along with this there are again seven principles given by the norman for transforming difficult task into simple one if you remember norman seven principle we have already gone through the norman seven principle in unit number 1 if you remember this use both knowledge use both knowledge in world and knowledge in head matlab world mein jo knowledge hai aur apne paas jo knowledge hai dono ka use karke aapko kya karna hai interface design karna hai if you remember this we have already gone through this simplify the structure of task whatever task you are doing you should simplify the structure of task the task is divided into sub task and you should easily complete each and every task to complete whole activity then whatever things you are doing whatever activity you are doing everything should be properly visible to the customer or the user get the mappings right everything you are doing that mapping should be right mapping matlab kya aap agar multiple form use karte ho agar aap multiple पेजेस यूज करते हो तो उन सब में प्रॉपरली मैपिंग होना चाहिए जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल फॉर्म अगर आप यूज करते हो तो फॉर्म में जो कुछ भी इंफॉर्मेशन आप स्टोर कर रहे हो दैट शुड बी प्रॉपरली इंसर्टेड इनटू डेटाबेस और इफ यू आर यूजिंग मल्टीपल बटन्स देयर शुड बी प्रॉपर मैकेनिज्म दैट यू शुड स्विच फ्रॉम वन बटन टू अनदर बटन वेरी करेक्टली देन 
Next is exploit the power of constraint. Whatever constraints you are using, every constraint should be properly used, and there must be the different constraints on the form or on the your web page. Then there should be focus on each and every type of error. Basically, the error occur in the design. अगर डिजाइन में एरर आता है तो आपकी सिस्टम फेल हो सकती है देन देर शुड बी दी प्रॉपर वॉट यू कैन से मैकेनिज्म टू एरर हैंडलिंग एंड एरर प्रिवेंशन एंड लास्ट वन इज वेन ऑल एल्स फेल्स स्टैंडर्डाइज अगर आपको याद होगा हमने ये ऑलरेडी देखा है वेन एवरीथिंग विल गेट फेल यू शुड वॉट स्टैंडर्डाइज दी थिंग वॉट एवर यू आर डूइंग जस्ट मेक इट स्टैंडर्ड then the next important point is user interface management system the name itself indicates that what is the use of this management system this kind of management system is mainly useful for your what user management whatever you have whatever activity you are using or whatever user interface you are going to design that user interface should be properly managed so there is one mechanism design for user interface management system and that mechanism will be it is the set of programming and design technique what exactly uims the very first thing related with this is it is the set of programming and design techniques what is the use of these techniques which are supposed to add another level of services for interactive system design beyond the toolkit level whatever kind of whatever basic level design you have designed this uims will be at the beyond of this your basic level matlab aap jo kuch bhi basic initial level ka system design karoge to user interface management system kya karega uska advanced part jo bhi hai wo advanced part wahan pe create karega usme kuch additional features add karke dega usme kuch shortcuts add karke dega usme kuch documentation add karke dega and it is the type of your programming and design technique the main concern of a uims will be conceptual architecture for structure of interactive system whatever interactive system you are going to design you should design its conceptual architecture uska kya hona chahiye conceptual architecture hona chahiye jo bhi interactive system aap design karoge us interactive system ka conceptual architecture means what it should be in concept it should not be in real life एक्चुअल में आपको उसे इम्प्लीमेंट नहीं करना है आपको जस्ट उसे कंसेप्चुअल में डिजाइन करना है ड्रॉ करके रखना है या उसे आपको नोट डाउन करके रखना है फिर आप उसे क्या करोगे डिस्कस करोगे डिस्कस करके आप उसके ऊपर सॉल्यूशन फाइंड आउट करोगे वेदर इट इज फिजिबल और नॉट इफ दैट आर्किटेक्चर इज फिजिबल टू एक्चुअल इम्प्लीमेंटेशन देन ओनली यू आर गोइंग टू इम्प्लीमेंट दैट अदरवाइज इट शुड बी इन कंसेप्ट ओनली इट शुड नॉट बी इन फिजिकल लाइफ देन the techniques for implementing a separated application whatever application you are doing it should be separated from other applications it should supports various techniques for managing implementing and evaluating a runtime interactive environment whatever user interface management system you are going to design that user interface management system should support various techniques for managing implementing and evaluating a runtime interactive environment whatever runtime interactive environment you are going to design in this first step it should be properly manageable it should be properly implemented and it should be evaluated at runtime so this is the main aim of your what user interface management system